Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxings to do. So this first one is from ATS, um, which I believe is uh, All Things Spinning. I believe it's from uh, Dean Chow, and I believe this is a the Sorry Pod thing. Yes, it is. So uh, I got this, I guess, because I bought a uh zero one slider and um they had some issues with it and um they're sending these out as an apology i was told i wasn't getting one because i got a refund because after a couple of like months basically i just was like just give me a refund um they had big issues with quality control but i have one of these in black and i really like it this is one of my favorite slider uh Fidgets, because it's so small. It's just easy to use. And this one's in Pay, which is, I believe, just Ultim. Um, now, I did have the, I have the black Ultim one, and I did have to re-glue at least one magnet. I think it was this one and that one, because it's Pay. And that's the problem with Ultim is, you know, the magnets come loose on this um, because super glue doesn't stick to it very well, or glue doesn't stick to it very well, so... That'll probably happen again, but that's okay. I'll just deal with it when I need to. Um, but I actually really like this fidget. It's just a good, solid fidget, and I don't think it's super expensive. Um, if you're just looking to pick up, like, one good fidget and call it a day and just have something small to, you know, mess around with, if you have large or smaller hands, I think this is uh, the way to go. It's very satisfying the way it pops so yeah let me know what you guys think on that one uh zero one shout out to dean chow uh i appreciate it man i know um you know you deal with a lot with the group and all that stuff but the communication in there is just really bad and the time that it takes forever for them to do anything and it's just frustrating. I mean, they always come through. I got to give them that. Their customer service is good. They always come through. I'm talking about the Surplus Depot group, the 01 EDC group. Um, they always come through. But the the duration of time between things is just absolutely brutal. And having to follow up with people so much just turned me off, really, to where I don't even go in there anymore. But um, anyway, they did come through. And you have a So Sorry slider, which is, it's really cool. And Zero One is the one who came up with the idea to make this. Um, so thank you to them for doing that. Now I have this. Um, I don't know what this is, so let's find out. It's like a, I don't know, I don't want to cut it either. So let's see. Looks like it's from overseas. Might be another fidget thing. I've randomly been getting fidgets in lately. Uh, Inatex Innovative Idea Technologies. I have no idea what this is. I also order stuff on Kickstarter. I never know what's coming. Usually I have a pretty good idea, but this one I'm lost. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is a Kickstarter I did for a pen. Did not realize it was going to be a tiny-ass refill, but I guess that makes sense. It looks ballpoint, though. So it looks like a D1 refill, which I believe is ballpoint, which is fine. Um, so it has a clip, an extra clip, and spring. Look at this little guy. I went with the blue. I wasn't sure. Uh, probably shouldn't have. Um, uh, it is titanium, and it's a little bolt action. Spring is very kind of soft, which I might be able to do something about, because I have springs now. But first, I will see if this spring is just an extra, or if it's stronger somehow. So, um, yeah, this is from Inatex. Um, Innovative Idea Technology. So, I saw this on... Kickstarter, it was just listed as small or mini bolt action pen in titanium. That was it. <laughs> like, I don't know anything about the company or anything. It's very light. 
This is perfect for one of my pouches, that's for sure. Um, uh, does have a uh, Torx tooling up here. It looks like you could take it apart here, yeah. Okay. And we got that. Oh, wow. That is a super long spring. So what is the other spring for? Is this to add on? Like, why would I take this off and put this in? Right? Like, would that do it? How would that help? Right, it wouldn't. Okay. No instructions here, so I apologize. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, hold on. Way too strong. Well, Seems to be working. Don't know if it's getting caught because of the spring or because of the, just not, I'm not getting, I'm not clearing that area well. Let's see if that held up. It seems to work. I think that's what it's for. And you could put, you could cut it to length if you wanted it to be a little weaker. You know what I mean? So you could do it this way too, but that just makes your life harder because you got to like, you know, do this. Yeah, I don't think that's smart. So extra refill, extra clip, I guess. Is that... same clip right yeah so they just give me an extra you can't reverse it looks like you can't you can swap the mechanism out or do something to the mechanism if you take that off which i'm not gonna mess with i guess there's no point now i wonder if i could cut this or get us a, a slimmer spring and you know use that or compress this a little bit you know and get it to chill out a little bit. Because it was kind of strong. But I guess that's better than kind of weak. Because that's kind of how it felt. Was weak. Like this. This is how it came. I mean it's okay. So I want a little bit more than that, but I don't want it as strong as it as it is with that. But I don't like that rattle either. So I'm going to try to just get used to the super strong version. I don't even know if that's what this is for, honestly. But Oh, wait. So am I supposed to take... Hold on a second. I just noticed something. Okay, so this you take off. And you tighten down onto the refill. Right? Because look, that one doesn't have one. Just realize that. And then, does this go around? Hold on. No. Okay. Oh. I don't know if it's meant to do this because they're different springs, but it works. So it's like, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's actually kind of nice. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Olight or the O-Pen Mini. Uh, let me see. It doesn't write very well. This is could be because there's only is there only one sheet? Yeah. Uh, let me try. Almost done here. Yeah, that feels softer immediately. Yep, writes way better. Got a little more gel to it than the uh, Parker, but good. This is the Otmog pen. There you go. It's just a standard size pen, probably around five inches. Maybe a little more. I don't know, but you can see how long it is. I'll grab a ruler real quick, then I'll wrap that one up. I'm sure you guys didn't care about that all that much. It looks like the same refill that's in um, this nano pen that I got it's about the same size yeah it's the same right yep so that's the d1 refill that you see could probably try that spring if I really wanted to but I don't so So I like that refill. It's just like a mini Parker, which is, you know, my style. So this would be good for a pouch, for sure. I like this quite a bit. So I'm glad I picked this up. I forget the price. I think it was, I don't know if it was like 70 bucks or something like that. It might have been 100 but I don't think it was that much. I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks. And they had cooler ones. I should have got a black one or a sand-washed one or something. I outsmarted myself with this cobalt blue shit. So, my fault on that one. But I got an extra refill, so that's cool. I can use that for other stuff, too. So, there we go. Got that one knocked out. Uh, oh, that one I'm saving. And that one, shit. I don't have anything else. All right. Well, that was it. Um, just some nonsense unboxings because the other ones i think i should uh save well you know what i'll open this one um this one's from uh blade ops and the reason i wanted this is because i can't believe they sent this many though i wanted a single action otf um so i could do a video um or a short or both explaining the differences between single action and double action because i did a short on it and that short did really well but i got a lot of like you know pushback from people that you know well single action would you know bust through that and it's like yeah but it's not what i'm talking about but you know you say one thing and it's like you're you know you you corner yourself and these are not good knives just putting that out there i will put my blade ops link but well that one might be i don't know boker's stuff is decent it's not like great but don't know why <laughs> they sent me this much all right all right i don't think i'm guessing they have a lot of these um, so shout out to Blade Ops. Thank you to Blade Ops for sending these my way. As always, appreciate it. I have a link in the description of every video for Blade Ops. Um, you guys never use it, but 
I kind of get it because I didn't really shop there either, you know. They're really cool people. It just wasn't a shop that I knew about or paid much attention to. So since I've kind of um, signed up for their affiliate stuff, I've kept an eye on their page. And if you were into Spider Co., like Sprint Runs and, you know, some of the popular name brand stuff, they have that. So it, they're a good place to pick that stuff up. Let's check out this nonsense. Uh, got my little bro here. Just cut all these while we're here. All right. So these are from Smith and Wesson. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay. I mean, they're not. They're not hideous. Oh yeah, they are. They're hideous. It's like painted steel or aluminum. My God. Caution. Blade ejects. Holy cow. Okay. It ejects? Shit. I didn't even know. I'm <laughs> just kidding. All right. So what are all these switches? What is going on here? All right. So there's a safety. <laughs> this is great. There's a blade. Uh, sorry. A glass skull cracker there's that that hey, what are all these i don't even see the blade do i have to open a window here I, i'm trying to be careful i don't want to kill myself so i'm trying to be careful i mean are these all switches is there, like, instructions on here? Oh, there is. I'm a little worried. So, give me a second here. Okay, C is a safety lock. D is the finger actuator. A is the opening... Deploying open end? So you can deploy it from here? F sliding assist knob. That's how you. E is the release lock. My God. Am I on the wrong side? No. Okay, let's just. Okay, safety off maybe. Are you kidding me? Dude, it literally, was that like a covering plate or was that a weapon? Is it supposed to do that? All right, so here you, okay, so then I have to do this and then pull it back in. Holy cow. Okay. Okay. Doesn't have much juice, so that releases it once it's locked up. So I got this. Safety, right? Fire, release, cock. So let me grab that piece, because that was weird. Ugh. What is that thing? I see it, I just can't reach it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It had a plastic cover on it. Look at that. They put that in there. You can literally shoot that out of here. Like. <laughs> they, they totally did that on. Do you think they did that on for fun? So that people would shoot these across the room. Let me see if it fires across my room. Nope. It just like fell off. Okay, so it doesn't do much. All right, sorry about that, guys. I got excited for a second. I was scared there for a second, too. Like, 
I just didn't know what was going to fire and what wasn't, you know? So I got to say, this isn't half bad. I mean, is it sharp? Yeah. Shit. Sharp on both sides, folks. Wow. Smith & Wesson. Aus 8. Okay. How much are they? You know, it's got the huge... Wow, it's locked up like a bank vault, though. There is no, well, a little bit of play here. But, I mean, for a OTF, that's really good. And then this will just drop it. And then, but you can tell how weak the spring is. Like, I don't need a lever. You know, I'm just one-handing it down. Um, and locking it in. It's not hard. So, and no, it's locked. Okay, so there's that one. Let's see, this one's probably just another color. Okay, I'm gonna have to destroy this box, sorry. This is the same one, right? Um, this one has more of a tension to it eh, felt like it when you hear that I mean listen to this eh, not much difference okay so we got the Smith & Wesson single actions. I don't know what those are um, going for. I would hope that they're like 20 bucks, but you never know. I think for 20 bucks, it's probably kind of cool, you know? Um, but for anything more than that, it's just, you know, kind of a waste of your money. So this is why nobody uses that link, by the way. Because I get stuff like this. <laughs> then I shit on it. Alright, look at this tactical beauty right here. Look at this. Dude, this is some tactical shit right here. We are in heaven. Look at this. What in the Lord's name is going on here? Nice, fancy glass breaker on the back. <laughs> Open sided, so you can see the blade in there. God, I hope that's the spine. It looks like the cutting edge, to be honest. Oh boy. Okay. Look at all this shit. Shrade, are you serious? A little thumb guard. But I, again, so it's holding it this way. That is the blade. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just see what happens. I'm a little afraid. This thing's going to hit me, right? Or is that just a. Let's just find out. The safety. That's the release. This is the safety. There we go. Safety. What? I can't actuate the safety again? Okay, whatever. Seriously? That thing shot up with it. So if you had your hand here... Useless... This will release it, and then you drag this down, which is kind of cool because it's not comfortable. Never mind. Okay, maybe I was just pussy in it. Ugh. Look at that. It's just going to hit me right in the finger and then not open, probably. That shit might hurt, dude. Like, imagine if you had your finger on it. Like, you were just doing this. This is gonna hurt. I know it's gonna hurt. Ah. Nah, it didn't hurt much, but... Stop the blade. That's so dumb. This one's got all the play in the world. What, you wanna disengage now, or what? What is going on? 
Oh, okay, whatever. These have no power. That's kind of sad because the whole point of this was for me to test it to show you that a single action could go through something. And this is like, look at that. Barely put a dent in that. Oh, I already sent out the, the mermaid OTF. Shit. Oh, well. So these are terrible examples of, yeah, that hurts. Like, how are you supposed to hold it without, uh, boy, oh boy. Good old Shrade. Good old Shrade with the absolute shard. Okay, Boker, please. Please, Boker, please. Please. At least the uh, Smith & Wesson ones, like, operate well. This feels small, whatever it is. All right, we got to do this. I like this. I actually kind of like how this operates. Like, I don't really mind it all that much. This is garbage. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. What's the problem here? Do they cut both sides or not? What is this thing? Is it not what? <laughs> Guess they just sent this along. It's a little uh, manual OTF. Carbon fiber scale looks like on top. Or G10. Only sharp on this side. I, I wouldn't even say it's sharp, no. I don't think it's sharp on any side. I think it's supposed to be on both sides. That wouldn't cut anything. I guess they're telling you exactly what you're using this for. If you could see me right now, you would see me just shaking my fucking head. So dumb. Like the concept isn't half bad, but I mean, look at this. I could literally just snap this thing in half right now. Yeah, it's flexing all over. What's the steel? D2 guaranteed. Yep, D2. Um, it doesn't push in very well. I mean, once you learn, I'm sure it's easier. This is a D rocket design or something. Um, I mean, it's not half bad. That's stuck here. But it's not sharp at all. So it's literally just meant to stab. And what are you going to do with this? When would you need this to stab? You're going to carry this as a self defense tool? I can't even, like, you try getting it out of your pocket and then getting it to the right position and then. <laughs> like what now if you want to look at it as a, a letter opener sure so is that what it is it's not sharp because it's a letter opener I mean look at this I mean Jesus how does this leave a factory? How does this exist? <laughs> what am I doing? What What is this? What is this? Blade Ops. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the coolest damn thing in this unboxing is <laughs> these <laughs> Smith & Wesson M&P single actions. Um, sadly... This one has decent power, so we can try it. Let's see. 
Because I don't... Did I try it? I think I did, didn't I? I didn't do shit to this box. paper I don't think it has enough speed to crack the paper oh what are these hey m and p coming in hot baby A little fidget. Did it lock up? No. Nope. All right. I officially am done with this. Um, yeah, you, you'll probably see a short on this. <laughs> I don't know if I can bring myself to put these on camera again for an extended period of time. Um, I didn't realize that I was going to send out all of my OTFs at once. I literally don't have a, a double action. But the problem is these, these single actions are probably weaker than the double action. And that's not, that doesn't help. The point was you can get single actions that really crank down and they have a lot of power. You put it up to this or your leg, it's going through. It's not going to stop and bounce off like this does. You know, this is just a weak, it's all, it all comes down to spring power, right? Double action, you know, in that video, I kind of say it's got a built-in mechanism. And it's just the way it is, right? It has a weak spring. Um, it's It doesn't get knocked off track. It just doesn't lock up. You know what I mean? Um, but, like, this is weak enough that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't um, penetrate. So it basically does the same thing. Like, let me see if I can get it. It'll just fail, I assume. See what I mean? Let me get my finger out of there. Yeah. It'll just fail. Where, like, a Microtech Halo, from what I understand, would just bust right through that and lock up because the spring has a lot of power. So these are cool, um, but it doesn't, I guess it does help because, you know, these aren't strong enough to do it. So I don't know, but anyway, um, thank you to Blade Ops. Appreciate you guys sending these my way. Um, I will film whatever and I will get these back to you guys. Oh Lord. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later